One of the projects that my organization is best known for is a project called the Red Hook Community Justice Center, which is a neighborhood-based court in the, that's located in a very low-income neighborhood in Brooklyn that's actually home to one of New York's oldest and largest public housing developments. And we created a, a neighborhood-based justice center that hears low-level um, cases originating from the neighborhood, uh, misdemeanor cases primarily, but also some low-level felonies. And what we're trying to do with Red Hook is really combine punishment and help. Um, and so we're linking offenders to very visible community restitution projects, um, making them pay back the neighborhood that they've harmed through their criminal behavior. But we're also linking them to the kinds of social service interventions, job training, drug treatment, things like that, that, you know, touch wood might help them stop a life of kind of repeated criminal behavior. Um, every couple of years we do a, a neighborhood survey where we go out and we knock on doors and we get hundreds of people to respond and we ask them, how are you feeling about your neighborhood? How are you feeling about the quality of life in the community? How do you feel about the justice system? And we did this neighborhood survey before we started, and what we found were shockingly low rates of approval um, for the justice system. Um, the number of people that said that they approved of the performance of local courts was 12%. You know, I wasn't so naive to think that we were going to get, you know, um, massive levels of approval, but that strikes me as a catastrophic vote of no confidence in a very important democratic institution. So fast forward to today, we repeat this as a survey uh, every couple of years, as, as I've said. Today, uh, the last time we did it last year, 94% of local residents approved of the performance of the Justice Center. That to me is an indication that we're actually making a, a difference in how people feel about justice and, and how people feel about government.